Hello my lovely couples and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. I am a wedding planner, stylist or wedding designer and business coach based over in the UK, helping couples to plan their own weddings. This week is a really exciting topic. We're going to be diving into wedding design, which is something that I am so passionate about and I haven't talked about on here for ages, guys. So I literally cannot wait to showcase what this video is all about. So let's just dive straight into the content, shall we? I'm going to be showing you how I take a couple that perhaps don't know what style or design they want their wedding to be, and we're going to be taking it to something amazing and creating their design so that it looks a little bit like this, okay? So let me take you on a little story. I'm actually going to be showcasing one of my couples from 2021 who are absolutely incredible and have literally become friends of mine as well in the process. They were amazing to work with, totally trusted me. They came to me because they knew that I could bring what they wanted and they loved my style and my design style. So it was an amazing process to work with them. I'm going to take you through how it works and how I work with my couples and how you can come from nothing to something amazing like that picture that I just showed you. So let's dive into this video. Okay guys, so when we first start out with a client and we're doing a design concept, I always have a full consultation with a, with a client. So it's always a full design consultation. This particular client, I was actually planning their whole wedding, so we were doing our full wedding planning service, but I also work with couples just to create their design. So either way, whichever case it is, we still do a full design consultation. And that's where we sit over Zoom, or sometimes over a cup of tea or a glass of wine and we talk about what they like and what they dislike and how they envisage their wedding looking. Do they have any ideas on theme, on colour, how they want it to feel, what they want to evoke, all of the things, okay? This particular couple didn't really know what they wanted. They approached me and said they know the type of wedding that they want in terms of like entertainment and they know that food's important, but in terms of design, they didn't know where to go with it and they wanted me to kind of help steer the ship as such. Now, what I did in their consultation was I went through a load of questions. I talked through their favourite colours, what they don't like, because if they don't know what they like, it's always good to ask what they don't like. So if you're struggling with what you want, write down what you don't want, because you'll find that that still helps guide you in the right Right direction. So we went through their likes and dislikes. I also noticed how they were really into the interiors of their house. They had just done a renovation, a beautiful renovation, and I could see how they had decorated the interiors and how they were actually quite particular with their details and quite modern with their styling. So I kind of ran with that a little bit as well. So we learned a lot from just that consultation. And they may have come away thinking, oh gosh, we didn't really give much away, but I can then run with that. So the next stage after having a full consultation is to start using a Pinterest board. Now, if you're not on Pinterest, guys, I mean, it's been around forever, so you need to get on Pinterest, but I'm sure most of you that are watching this video already use Pinterest and probably have a Pinterest board for your wedding. What you want to do, and in fact, I think I've done a video on this, so I will link it for you up here on how to use Pinterest for your wedding and how not to use Pinterest for your wedding. But we want to start our Pinterest board and we want one specifically for design, okay? So we're going to get on Pinterest and we're gonna start pinning ideas that fit the design brief. So I'm actually gonna take you onto my screen now for part of this video and I'm going to show you how I used Pinterest for this particular client. So I'm gonna take you into the board that we created for their design. I'm then going to take you into my design book template, which is exactly the same as the one that I sell on my shop. So if it's something that you're thinking, ah, how do I collate my ideas? It's in our shop, I use it for my clients. So I'm gonna take you inside that and you can see how their design went from, I don't really know what I want, to a Pinterest board and then into a design book. And then I'm going to do a part two to this video, guys, and I'm going to show you how the design book ended up into the most beautiful, beautiful wedding. We're going to talk about how we sourced the suppliers to fit the design and how we actually pulled everything together to create that amazing photo. And I'll just show you one more time because it's amazing. I mean, there's so many amazing photos. 
So guys, let me take you onto my laptop and I'm gonna show you the Pinterest board that we created for this couple and where the design started. Okay guys, so you are now inside of my Pinterest and this was this lovely couple's wedding and this is how I started creating their design. So we had discussed their interior design from the house. I'd noticed that they had this amazing kitchen, something that I call the party kitchen, the dream. And they definitely had some kind of like industrial vibes coming through, like really modern styling, lots of wood. And I could tell that they would like kind of the black metals and that kind of like modern touch. So I decided to kind of like take it into that modern industrial theming, but I knew that they really wanted lots of flowers and they really wanted it to feel wild and sort of whimsical, which is totally a bluebird style. So I was totally, totally here for this wedding. And I kind of wanted to combine the two. So it's almost like modern industrial meets secret garden. So you can see here, as I was pinning, that vision is kind of coming through. You know, we're talking here, like we've got lots of natural woods, lots of natural materials, but then we've got these really modern kind of like black metal features coming through in the cutlery. We've got the wild meadows here, which are absolutely stunning. And some other floral inspiration here. So for example, this, I mean, this looks like an Italian sort of like villa wedding, which obviously, I mean, actually part of the venue that they ended up choosing, we could have very much had a Tuscan sort of outside wedding, but UK weather, not quite so ideal for that. But you can see that it was all really floral and we wanted to create something overhanging the table. So I've pinned quite a lot of images where there's something happening above the table. Here you've got pendant lights, you've got some fabric runners and you've got some um, foliage as well as flowers sort of like happening down on the tables and the meadows look like they've been moved there. Let's find some other images. So this one down here, we featured, we, uh, we went back to this quite a lot when we were discussing the design. So again, you've got the Edison bulbs hanging, the flowers and the foliage, and then you've got the table decor, which is very industrial with the woods, the black, like it looks amazing. And the two together just can look fantastic. The ceremony, in fact, we ended up with something fairly similar to this. So having the meadows and then the beautiful archway as well was just an absolutely beautiful focal that we wanted to create, but we wanted to be able to repurpose these meadows so that they weren't only used for the ceremony. We discussed lots of different sort of table plan ideas. So there was this kind of like using flowers and foliage pressed inside clear glass photo frames, which looks really beautiful. So we did discuss that and we actually did look into that as well. We also looked at, I quite liked this for the table plan, lots of clocks for different um, well actually this was for the timings of the day but we did talk about having like something like this for the table plan itself and different times for different locations because the couple had done a lot of travel so we were trying to pull in those personal details as well. I love this table design here just really industrial but still got those sort of like garden greenery vibes and we actually did sort of like pull on that in our final design. You can see that I've also pulled in elements for the table design, so plate ideas, glassware we were looking at, smoky colours, candles in neutrals, really long and elegant, and little touches of pink as well. And then again here, these storm lanterns in black. We've got added extras in this Pinterest board as well, because we talked about having a saxophone player, and then we were loving the rattan style furniture as well. So I think you could get a really good vibe for what we were trying to pull together just from this small design board or Pinterest board, sorry. So I'm gonna take you now into Canva where I create all my design books for my clients using my template, which we actually sell on our shop. And you can see how we then take the Pinterest board through to the design book to actually pull the design together a little bit better. Okay guys, so this is the design brief that we created for this client. Now I'm taking you through it in the PDF format so you can get a really good visual for what we created. And you'll notice already that on this front cover, there are a lot of the images that we had in the Pinterest board. Now, 
the venue that's mentioned on here and the date that's mentioned on here are not actually what they went for. We actually created the created this design when we were looking at one particular venue, which we then didn't go ahead and book. So when, when we found another venue, we still used the design and then just tweaked it to fit what they were looking for. So I'm gonna take you through. So when I create a design book, I create the cover just to give like a, an immediate vibe for what it is that we're, we're gonna create for the couple. I then take it into the next pages where we discuss the color palette. So for this particular wedding, and you'll have seen from the Pinterest board as well, that we were going for that modern industrial mixed with that romantic kind of secret garden, wild and whimsical via loads of flowers. So this was kind of these soft romantic vibes that we were using here, but we were mixing in with these hard colors. Now this is obviously supposed to be gold. I say obviously, maybe it's not. This is more like we're talking woods here and we're talking black metals. And I talk about that so that the couple can get a really good understanding of what I'm envisaging and just to make sure that it aligns with what they're envisaging and if they don't know what they're envisaging then they get a really good understanding of what I'm proposing for them. So neutral soft and romantic, soft greens from foliage and plants with soft neutral tones, soft pinks to add romance, femininity and a touch of luxe. Black metal, natural woods and golds to combine a slightly urban industrial look with softness to create a modern edgy romantic overall style. I literally loved this wedding, guys. <laughs> so the next page takes us on to the ceremony. So we talk about the location now. This ended up being, as I say, a completely different venue, but we talked about in the design how we would set the ceremony up, how it would visually, visually look. So stunning ceremony location along the avenue, surrounded by two parallel rows of redwood trees. A moon gate at one end, will look like wildflowers growing up from the ground with lots of foliage and touches of soft natural colour palette. The chairs will line the avenue on coconut matting runner and will lead down from one end to the ceremony spot. Wildflowers will be placed at the ends of the rows running down the aisle to create a beautiful garden of flowers as the bride makes her way down the aisle. Then we talked about music as well which obviously isn't quite so much the design. So it's just giving them a real visual of what we want to create and then I add in the images to kind of set to showcase what we're we're talking about so there's lots of different ideas there's a full moon gate there's a half constructed arch here this is really cool and a little bit different so it's like wild and growing up from the ground here is a beautiful arch with meadows and here again is the meadows and you'll see the images in part two of this video of what we actually do create and how we kind of use this as inspiration but then created our own take on it to fit our theming. So then when I'm building a design I talk about the next part of the day which is obviously the drinks reception so we also just talk about how that's going to work, what we want it to look like, we talked about having clusters of furniture, a children's teepee area set up with some small games to help entertain them, we talked about potentially having a mini golf course and so on, entertainment and the types of food and drink that they want to have served as well. The next part of the day is then the wedding breakfast. So actually, sorry, I'm gonna just take you back to here and finish talking about the drinks reception. So this is some design ideas for the drinks reception itself. So we were talking about the lounging area, so either like this or some rattan furniture, an outdoor bar, saxophone is playing in the gardens and a little teepee for the kids to entertain themselves with. Then we move on to the wedding breakfast and this was this was really the massive feature moment of the, this guy's wedding. We were talking about ha hanging flower installations above the tables or high long floral arrangements on wooden planks and metal plinths. We really wanted to pull those natural elements in and make this amazing, mixing it in with some neutral tones via flowers, candles and so on. Talked about small bud flowers along the tables as well as hanging flowers as well. It honestly, this was going to be amazing. So we then move on to some inspiration here, just pulling on what we were talking about on the last page and giving some images to go with that. These chairs are amazing, aren't they? So then we talk about the actual table settings itself. So we were talking about sort of these smoky colors, mixing in with sort of some pinks and, and neutral tones. And again, we you will see how we go from this and where we actually take it because it, you can't always get the items that you want that you're putting in your design book. They won't have enough of them. They don't have them available in the location. All these kind of factors come into play 
you just can't get them in this country. I mean, I try not to put anything in a design book that isn't available in the UK, but sometimes, you know, we can make a few errors. Or things will change and designs will tweak, which, you know, happens all the time because this is kind of like the first thing that we work from. And then the design will flow and change as we go. We don't need to keep making different design books. We just, it just develops over time, which is exciting. So this gives a little bit more um, depth of, like an idea of like the different areas we're talking about sort of like storm lanterns and these table names and like pressing flowers and keeping the flowers going basically this is an idea of bud vases on the table with neutral colored candles as well as like hanging florals from the top as well we talked about potentially having a cocktail hour which we actually didn't end up having but this was if we were having this other venue where we would have to turn the room around but we were just talking about what we would have Espresso martinis did come into play, as did Negronis, because they were the couple's favourite cocktails, so we did pull those into the day. Then we talked about the evening reception, talking about the food, talking about how we want the vibe to be, how we want it set up, and so on. This one doesn't tend to focus so much on the design, but just the feeling that you want to evoke. So that's how we create a design book. We sometimes add in stationary ideas, but we didn't have loads of ideas at that point and we wanted to work with our stationer and we wanted to develop our tablescape. Then we would know more on what we actually wanted for our stationery. We tend to kind of like settle into that first and then the stationery kind of follows. So we sent out some really simple save the dates, which were literally on white vellum with black writing so it gave it gave kind of this vibe when we sent the save the dates but then when we went on to the actual on the day stationery we'd already built up the design to how we really wanted it and we were able to then step into that design a bit better with our stationer so that was really exciting so guys as you can see from the video you can kind of see how we went from doing a design consultation with our clients who weren't quite sure what they wanted but i could pull on who they were as people, what interiors they're into, what flowers they wanted, where they've traveled in the world and so on. And we were able to pull together a beautiful design, firstly using Pinterest and then moving on to our design book, which we always use for our couples to really pull together the concept for them. Now that did change and it did tweak over time. And what we ended up with was truly, truly special and one of my most favorite wedding designs that I've ever had and ever done. And it gets talked about all the time. So I can't wait to show you what we actually ended up creating. I'm going to show you what we actually ended up creating and the process of going from the design book through to trying to find the items and the suppliers to actually match with what we were trying to create and then the final product. So I'm gonna do that in a part two, so make sure you keep an eye out for that video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it really interesting to see how you can go from nothing to something really exciting. And then obviously you'll see what we really did end up with and it really, really was truly special. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can also catch me over on Instagram at bluebird underscore creative to follow behind the scenes, daily stories. I'm literally always on there guys. It's very real and raw so I can hop over and give us a follow.